Little Kitty's Furry Tail Theater. Just 
just a little one from my daughter, Hello Beauty. That's no excuse! To pay me back for ruining my lovely garden, you must stay and keep me company. But I won the lottery! What if I pay you money? <gasps> But if you don't come back, I'll have to come and get you. Yes, sir. It's my fault you got in trouble, Papa. I'll go keep the beast company in his castle. Oh, but you can't. Castle? Did you say castle? Yes, but... Then I'll go, too. I belong in a castle, you know. But, daughters, there's a horrible beast. How do we get in? Papa told me the password. Goodbye! Finally, a place fit for a queen like me. Oh, Mr. Beast, are you home? Boy, he sure is shy. to my castle. Thanks, Mr. Beast. We came instead of our papa. Don't be frightened. I won't hurt you. Here, let me get you some chocolate chip sardine cookies. My own recipe. Thanks, these are delicious. Run and get help, Hello Beauty. I can't hold on much longer. Ah! Don't mind her, Mr. Beast. We're here to keep our father's promise. I'm so glad you came. I've been kind of lonesome. Do you live here all alone? <sighs> yes, a wicked witch put a spell on me. Yeah! <laughs> Let me comb the frosting out of your mane. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Yeah. <laughs> telegram for Hello Beauty. A telegram? What is it? Well, a telegram is a message that somebody sends to you and... No, no, no. What does it say? <clears throat> I've come here today to say you must go home right away. Your papa is quite sad. He misses you so bad. This isn't just a trick. The guy is really sick. Oh, no! Papa's sick? Mr. Beast, you must let us go home to our papa. We'll come back, we promise. Cross your heart and hope to meow? Yes. Don't we, Katrina? Why, yes. <laughs> of course. I sure miss my girls. We're home, Papa. I hope you're not too sick. Sick? Who's sick? I'm just glad you're home. Oh, my heart is breaking. Come back to me, hello, oh. beauty. You ninny, you had to go and fall in love. And to think you could have had me. Oh, hey. now I know I'm going to be sick. She'll never come back to you, fool! You hear me? Never! <laughs> oh, no! I've stayed too long! I'll have to get back to the beast or he'll die of a broken heart! Ha! You'd have to be bonkers to go back to that ugly thing! A promise is a promise! Besides, even a beast needs a friend. I just hope I'm not too late. Go away! We're closed! Oh, please, Mr. Troll, let me in. The beast needs me. Nope. There's nothing you can say to get by me. 
Okay. I guess I'll just have to say goodbye. On second thought, there is one thing you can say. Oh, hello, Beauty. Where are you? Forget it, fish cake. You're not getting anywhere near him. Let me buy you, Meanie. Meanie? Of course I'm a Meanie. I'm a witch. What did you expect? I'm coming. I'm coming. You've had it now, Pipsqueak. I'm going to turn you into a toad and have my troll feed you to the moat monster. <laughs> I'm sorry I was gone so long. It doesn't matter. I'll be a beast forever. No one's ever going to love me. Maybe you're a little different looking on the outside, but inside I know how nice you really are. Oh, no! No, no! Anything but a kiss! Thanks a million, Hello Beauty! You set me free! This is terrible! This is awful! Oh, uh, don't worry, witch! You still got me! That's what I'm talking about! Would you like to be my princess, Hello Beauty? I'd love to! <laughs> Theater is proud to present Little Red Bunny Hood. Upon a meow, there was a girl named Little Red Bunny Hood who left her home in Boston to visit her grandmother in the wild, wild west. It was a long, long journey. First by train across the heartland of America, and then by stagecoach into the lawless, untamed land of the wild west, where anything could happen, and usually did. Giddy up, you lazy bags! We don't want to be late! Yow! Stage robbers! Halt! I'll blow you off the road! Oh. What's happening? Whatever it is, I don't like it! Stick em up! Hey, Grandpa, you're late. <laughs> well, we've been robbed. It was Bell Catnip in the Hole in the Ground Gang. Bell Catnip? Bell Catnip? Oh, no! Marshal Sam, get a posse together. Bell Catnip's robbed the stage again. That varmint has gone too far. I'll get her this time. Aww. She stole my brand new suit. <laughs> <laughs> and she took my suitcase with all my clothes and everything. Welcome to Dog City, ma'am. I'm Deputy Chip. Here, let me give you a hand. Thank you. I'm Little Red Bunny 
Ravenhood. Will you get my things back from that nasty bow catnip for me? You bet, ma'am. Whoops. I'll leave a new in charge of Dog City, Deputy Chip. Good luck, Marshal Sam. Be careful. Bell catnip and her gang are dangerous. I've seen worse. Hidey ho, Silver! Who's your new friend, Deputy Chip? Hello, Kitty. This is Little Red Bunny Hood. Pleased to meet you. Pleasure's mine, Red. What brings you to these parts? I came to visit my grandma. She should have been here to meet me. I hope she's all right. You'll never get away with this. That's my granddaughter's lunch you're eating. Quiet! We're trying to eat here. Or would you like a cold shower? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all wet when Marshal Sam gets a hold of you. I heard that. You're right. I hate getting wet. We need a hostage. And you're a Anything happened to my friend on the way to a grandma's house? Thanks, Hello Kitty. Thanks, Deputy Chip. <sighs> Adios. Be careful. What did he say? Whoa, boy. That's weird. We could have sworn that cactus got up and moved. But that's impossible. Good morning. A talking, moving cactus? Now that's really impossible. <laughs> Fool ya. I'm the Big Bad Wolf, and you must be a little red bunny hood. <laughs> that's right. How do you know? Just the lucky guess. Where are you going, and what's in that basket? I don't talk to strangers. Excuse me, please. But we're not strangers. We've already met. How about lunch? No, thanks. I have to get up to the Catalyst Ranch and see my grandma. <laughs> hmm. I'd like to get my paws on that lunch. But maybe if I hit her off at the pass... What do you want now? How'd you like to take some nice flowers to your grandma? There's a whole field of these. That would be nice. I'll watch your lunch for you while you pick some. Okay, thanks. <sighs> hey, I just ate one little sandwich. She'll never miss it. Uh oh. Which sure was good. <coughs> but I'm still hungry. I know. Maybe I can get some eats at Grandma's house. Empty. Nobody home. Nothing in the refrigerator. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, no. I've got to hide. Grandma? Are you home? It's me, Little Red Bunny Hood. An inspiration. My dear, I'm in the bedroom. Bring your lunch with you. Grandma? Come give me a big hug, my dear. My, what big ears you have, Grandma. The better to hear you with, my dear. My, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. The better to catch hold of you, my dear. My, what, what big teeth you have, Grandma. The better to eat your lunch, my dear. <laughs> Chow time! Eat me, beast! Yeah. I'm allergic to... <laughs> Deserted when I got here. Let me out and I'll help you find her. I shot her, but no 
Thanks for Grandma's. Promise? Cross your heart and help me catch, please. Strawberry, little. They stopped here for water, boy. I'm getting closer. That fool Marshall thinks he has me now. Has he got a surprise coming? We're gonna circle back to town and rob the first national piggy bank. You rattlesnake, you'll never get away with it. Oh, yes, we will. And you're gonna help us. We've got to stop them. Yikes, look! Stop! <laughs> Catnip, but he does. Follow me. Can I help you, ma'am? I'd like to make a withdrawal. Yikes! Bank robbers! That's right. Now reach for the skies and hand over the money, or you'll get these water balloons. But how can I hand over the money with my hands over my head? Uh, just give it to me! You got it! Hood. Grandma! Oh, thanks, Little Red Bunny Hood. You saved my whiskers with that umbrella trick of yours. Oh, gee, it was nothing. <clears throat> Goodbye! 